Hey guys, Rob, Sigma 3 Survival School, and today I want to teach you a quick trap. Uh, yes, we are back to making videos full time. Um, we've, uh, yeah, the only reason I've been down for so long is one, TV shows, um, just crazy amounts of work. We, the classes are just blowing up, and um, our, our high speed internet connection has been, um, well, non existent, and, and the company just finally upgraded our area, so we're coming back full time with videos. So, this first trap I want to show you is nothing more than a simple little, uh, you know, type of twitch up trigger system using a spring pole that's great for baited sets where you can bring in animals like possums. Uh, you know, skunks, rabbits, uh, you know, maybe even something as large as a raccoon. And the point of, of using this type of trap over other types of snares it was it will help prevent chew outs, uh, which is really important when you're using uh, primitive cordage and the animal can literally just turn around and bite it. So we like to use tactics and techniques in order to prevent that animal from getting a chew out. When setting your snare, you want to take tension or any slack out of the line and you want to make sure I put a little uh, ramp here so when they crawl in uh, smaller animals will have their their head height just about perfect and then you just fit that snare how you want and you want to use funneling you want to use sticks to where we force the animal to go to this specific spot and not to the you know, around or try to bypass the trap through one of the holes. We want to make this the most enticing spot to enter. And we'll do that by uh, putting a little bit of bait up here. He'll step in, uh, put his feet over, hopefully have his, his neck or head perfectly right in there, and then hits, hits the trigger. I got my finger. It does work. Yeah. And then it slams him up against here. And hopefully, specifically like possums, smaller animals, they're going to be less likely to reach around and chew this out, and it's going to suffocate them slowly. And so this is this turns a snare um, that wouldn't have been a kill trap into a kill trap. All right. So in order to make some little Y sticks, in order to hold your snare up so that it doesn't fall down, all you do is take the tip of your knife, get you a you know 16 inch stick, split it. And then we'll just set the rope right inside that. The snare is set on two split sticks so that it will keep the form following up through the top bars. Make sure that your rope goes through the center of the two stakes, driven pretty deeply into the ground, at least a foot. Your toggle is pinky size. Your top or your trigger bar is about a foot and a half. That's your spring pole, and I ringed it around the bottom in order to season it. Well, that will kill the tree, folks, so don't do that unless it's a long-term trap. You're going to place a little bit of bait at the front of the trap. Give them a little taste of what's inside, and then you're physically going to tie a larger piece of bait to the trigger that I'm about to set. When you trip the trigger, it slams the animal up against the two top bars and will quickly suffocate them and dispatch them. This is a kill trap. Right. Okay guys, that's a simple little twitch up uh, snare system that you can use to kind of help prevent shoe outs. And you can basically set up almost any kind of trap trigger system you can think of with some kind of crossbar to prevent those chew outs. So that's a technique I'm going to be doing a whole lot more videos on in the future. Um, as always, we uh, appreciate your support and for subscribing and sharing these videos. And we'll have um, you know all kinds of new stuff coming out real soon because uh, video production is back in full swing, and we got the whole crew here. So um, as always, we appreciate you. Sigma three out.